All right, guys, what's going on? Justin from 79th Productions, and today I'm working on the Eclipse, guys. We're building the Fast and the Furious replica Eclipse, Eclipse replica. If you have not watched the last video, I picked this car up for 300 bucks, and I'm super excited about it. But one of the biggest problems I have with the car is the engine's locked up, and I don't have the head cylinder. Now I found the head cylinder online for 150 bucks, but that doesn't really do me any good if I can't get this engine unlocked. I mean, it's frozen. The last guy who had it, what he did was the timing belt popped and he had the head taken off and they never put the head back on. And the head is at some machine shop. He doesn't even, uh, he didn't remember where it was. So we don't have the head, but by doing that, leaving the engine block open up like that the moisture humidity from the outside got in the engine because it wasn't closed up but it's got inside the engine and left a lot of surface rust so that's the problem and if you guys can see there is a there's a lot of surface rust now i'm hoping i will be able to get that surface rust out of here. And in order to do that, this is the only way that I've ever done it and I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work because sometimes in the past it hasn't worked either. But here's what we are going to use. We are going to use some Marvel, Marvel Mystery Oil and this is a oil enhancer and fuel treatment, but this uh, really lubricates. It's a lot better than uh, oil for trying to lubricate, lubricate uh, rusty engines up. Now, some people might use regular oil, but this is what we're gonna go with. And yeah, I mean, hopefully it works, like I said. I've used this in the past and 50% of the times it didn't work and the other 50% it did. It at least broke it free and now guys, I'm not trying to use this to repair the engine. Understand that. I'm not trying to use, yeah, I'm not trying to use the mystery oil to repair the engine. I'm just trying to use it to see if I can get the pistons to break loose in the cylinders and if I could get the pistons to break loose in the cylinders I will be able to rotate it and chances are if I can make that happen chances are I will be able to rebuild this block all right guys so we're getting ready to uh blow this out and all we're doing I got a compressor over here we're just gonna use the air gun and we're gonna hook it up and blow it out. Then we'll let the uh, mystery oil soak in there. So. See guys, and that's a, uh, that's a perfect reason why you wear glasses. As soon as I blew in this, there's a buildup of stuff right here. It blew back and hit me in the face. So you always want to wear your glasses. It's hard to see out of these. I got a lot of dust on them. I wiped them off, but it's better to have something than nothing. And now 
we are going to uh, use this mystery oil. And now when we use this, what we need to do is let it sit for about 48 hours. So I'm just gonna, I mean, the engine's already damaged. I can't hurt it more than it is. So pour as much as I need to. And what I'm going to do, since the engine is leaning forward like this and the, the oil wants to rush to the front, I'm gonna lift the car up a little bit in the front. That way this can sit level and I could fill up those two uh, middle cylinders. Let's uh, lift the car up now. I just put a little more in there, kind of rub it around. And there we go. I lifted it up a little more and it's actually filling the cylinders up a lot more. So it's good here. We're gonna let it sit and we are gonna let it, uh, we're gonna let it do its work. Hopefully it can break through this rust. All right, guys, here we go. The engine has been sitting, soaking in the marble mystery oil. I came back the day after I did this and I put some more, tried to move it. It moved about that much, maybe about a quarter of an inch, which was in a good which was a good thing because I was able to fill it up even more. And yeah, this is working. Now it's been 48 hours that that's been sitting there. And before, it was completely locked up. And now, guys, I have the, uh, the wrench on there. And what I've been doing, it's, it's a little tight, but I can, start to rotate it now. You see all the uh, oil dripping out of there and there's some hard spots still, but I'm gonna be able to uh, get those pistons out of the engine and I'll show you this from the top while I'm spinning it. All right, guys. So we are turning this and oil is getting everywhere but that is all right i think we'll be able to rebuild this engine so guys we we've been able to turn it and I just kind of want to try to get some of this surface rust out of here and the cylinders I think once I take this to the machine shop they will be okay but we won't know till we get there all right guys I just put a little more mystery oil in there and I'm just gonna let this thing keep soaking we did get it to turn over and that is awesome I'm super excited about that but I just want to let this sit in there and the next video we will probably try to start taking the engine out I mean this all looks really foreign to me there is a lot of stuff a lot of wiring and I need to figure out where this goes back so we're gonna have a little bit of challenge there, but I mean, it is what it is. We gotta get it done and I'm super excited about it. So yeah, guys, I mean, like I said, I've always wanted to build one of these cars. I, comp I love the Fast and the Furious franchise and Paul Walker just did an amazing job. And you know, a lot of things about the movie were kind of, if you're a car guy and you look at it and you listen to it and you pay attention to it, it's a little bit, it 
it's a little bit off, but it's still a great movie. And, you know, Paul Walker passed away. And ever since he passed away, these eclipses, they have been like a lot of people have been building replicas and the parts are starting to get a lot more expensive and <laughs> yeah they're starting to get a lot more expensive i've been laying on the ground in the dust here i didn't get to uh clean the shop up from the last time i was sanding the integra but got some dust in my hair but yeah guys the the parts are getting expensive to find and that's exactly why i said this is not going to be an exact replica but we're going to try to get it close and Getting this engine to rotate, guys, if you, like I said when we started, it's a 50-50 shot that we're going to be able to get this thing to rotate, but it did, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be good for a rebuild. And, guys, rebuilding this engine, I can put better rods, better pistons, and it's still going to come out cheaper to do that than to try to buy an already put together block of the JDM importers are trying to sell them for like $2,300, $2,500. There's a couple of guys local who have them for like $1,000, but they don't really know the condition they're in. And I don't want to gamble with $1,000. I mean, right now I just can't do that. And I mean, yeah, it's just that's not even an option right now. If they knew it was good, that would be the best option to buy one of those engines. But right now, that's not an option because they don't know if the engine's good or not. But guys, excited. We got this thing. We got this thing turned. And that's going to that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you if you've never had to try to. Un get an engine unstuck well an engine that's frozen if you've ever tried to get one to turn over it can be really difficult and it doesn't always work out luckily it worked out for me today and that's great the mystery oil was about six dollars for the entire bottle and i let that thing sit and soak and started cranking at it with the the wrench and it finally broke free so yeah, excited about that. I'm going to wrap the video up here, guys. If you would like to support the channel, pick up some merchandise, guys. That always helps out. Everything that I sell for merchandise goes directly into building these cars. So the link will be in the description for the merchandise. And that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at 79thProductions. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless you guys.